Hello everybody and welcome back for episode 7 of Lake. I just wanted to give you a quick heads up before we get started with the show. My wife is going to be co-hosting, shall we say, on this video. I'll be playing, she'll be providing sideline commentary. That being said, I had to program my microphone to interview mode. So it opens up both sides of the microphone so you can not only hear me talking but also hear her. Now the caveat to that is that it could pick up extra room noise and some room echo as well as the computer fan spooling up. For some reason, this game really stresses my computer. I don't understand why, but the fan spools up a lot. So I do apologize. I try to filter out as much room echo and background noise as I can, but you can only go so far until you start distorting the audio. So I feel the audio for this video is acceptable. So it's a fair trade in order for me to have my wife with us because I really enjoy doing these videos with her. So small sacrifice for a big payoff, at least for me. So I hope you enjoy the video. So let's get started and roll that lovely lake footage. I hope you enjoy. Hello? You're speaking to Monster Deal Central. How may I help you? Hey, Steve. You're in a good mood? Meriden, please tell me to calm down. We are so close to a deal. Added 87 in shops all across America. M -m 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 monster Deal. Oh, wow. That is so awesome. Tell me more. Okay, okay. I met up with this big retailer, right? They read our great pitch. They loved it, and they want to buy 250,000 copies of Added 87. 250,000. Multiply that by, like, 35 bucks. What? That's millions of dollars of revenue! M -m -m millions and and it's just the start. Listen, I've got the contract right here. I'm sending over a copy. You should have it tomorrow. Please, please, check, check, double check, check it right away. I want your blessings before I sign on the dotted line, okay? Gotcha, Steve. Don't worry about it. Awesome. I'll be in touch again Tuesday evening. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. Oh, Steve's parcel. And another note from Tess. Hey, Em, here are Steve's contracts. I bet you're in the mood for some light reading. And now without sarcasm, really, I must admit the energy here is contagious. Is Adit actually going to take off? See you soon. Tess. Good morning, Miss Weiss. Uh, good morning, sir. I didn't see you there. The name's Walter Morgan. I'm with the Postal Service. I left you a message on your answering machine earlier this week. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Miss Weiss, if you could follow me into the office. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Are you familiar with the Postal Service policies? Um... Yes, well, the gist of it. Can you remember the segment from Chapter 11, Section 3, First Paragraph? I'm sorry, that part seems to have slipped my mind. It says in Chapter 11, Section 3, First Paragraph, and I'll paraphrase. It is forbidden to use Postal Service property for personal gain. Oh. Okay, sounds reasonable. Miss Weiss, I'm aware that you've only just begun working here. But I trust that you do not take the responsibilities of a postal worker lightly. If you look up the definition of integrity, it has my picture next to it. The Postal Service puts its employees under the highest level of scrutiny. I advise you to answer the following three questions truthfully. A yes or no will suffice. Do you know Frank Coleman? Yes. Have you ever given him envelopes or received envelopes from him that weren't postmarked? Yes. Are you aware that Frank Coleman wages bets on baseball games? No. That will be all. Thank you for your cooperation. What's going to happen to Frank? I'm sorry. We can't discuss personnel matters. Good luck with the mail today, Miss Weiss. Monday, September 8th, in the morning. 
here we are. So that was quite a surprising uh, turn of events. I really thought Meredith was the one in really big trouble, and it turns out it was Frank. A little bit of a gambling problem there, I guess. So, uh, But who cares? Meredith may wind up leaving and being at least a partial millionaire. I don't know what her stake in the company is, but uh, yeah, what do you think, Jen? I agree. I was pretty surprised that uh, Frank was involved in the whole gambling thing, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so I'm at the controls. My wife is providing peanut gallery commentary this time. It's been a little while since we played, so I have to remember some of the controls. So I decided, Complaints in Monday mornings. The perfect so I decided to let Atomic take over the driving because I'm not so good at it. There we go. What did you say, Jen? The radio in the truck was blasting. Yes, it was. <laughs> so nobody heard a damn thing you said. All right. No, I just wanted to say that I decided to let you take over the driving because I'm not so good at it. And yeah. I also wanted to say thank you for everybody for all of your positive uh, reinforcement and uh, productive comments. Uh, nobody made fun of me. Nobody uh, made me feel bad. So uh, I really, really appreciate that, guys. So uh, thanks again for watching. We'll have a good time today. Yes. All right. So it looks like um, pick up Bert's movie box and review Steve's contracts. So those are the big things for today. All right. Thank God that's over with. That part is really annoying to me when the game starts out when you turn off the radio and the the settings and this monologue still continues to blare into the microphones all right so let's see don't hit that car no i won't i'm just trying to see where um, our first let's see i think the package get away from the fire hydrant you start to drive like me that's not good no i have hit nothing yet <laughs> No, you, oh, you're, you're you pretty close. much, you pretty much <laughs> cause havoc right out of the gate. All right, so this is Main Street, Lake Road. I don't think we have anything here. No, you've got a letter a little further up. In you go, Meredith. Oh, wait, wait for the gray haired man. No, we're not going to hit anybody. Well, we can because we determined that you can't. Ooh, that didn't sound good. No, she, <laughs> she okay. made it out alive. Okay. It's all yeah. good. So 104 is going to be on the left. We'll just get out here. And we'll go in the back. 104. There we go. Is that her friend's house? Where? Here? No, no, Place no. Place we're going to. When you go past the, you take a right before or after the video shop and go up around the bend. Yeah, it's on the left. She lives in a yellow house. All right, let's see. Ring doorbell. Ding dong. Nope. No answer. Okay. She no didn't one. make any comments on, I wonder what's in this package. I know. She's not interested today. Maybe she'd gotten over that. <laughs> I doubt it. It'll come around. So now we have a letter to deliver. So we can go just this way and just go around. He's a much better driver than I am. The day is young. We'll look both ways. But I don't provide as much organic entertainment value. <laughs> so. Well, he's used to these controls. I certainly am not. And as I said, I would change the controls to the right hand control versus the left. I'm a righty, so driving left is not good for me. Didn't quite work out. All right, so it should be this box here. Nice thing about the game is it's for simpletons like me. It won't let you deliver a letter to the wrong house. <laughs> so we're going to go up here and then we'll come back down and we'll go this way. And then we're going to go around, deliver a parcel. Oh, we got to go back to the motel, Jen. Woo we'll take a right. Okay. Just like AOL, you've got mail. We can get out on both sides of the street. That's why it has two doors. <laughs> At least that's my excuse. So this is Jackson Street, 202. Ooh, interesting. Oh, she said it's interesting, Jen. Oh, she's so nosy. My wife can't really hear her dialogue because I have the headphones on. I can read, though. Yeah, she can read. That's one of us. All right, and away we go. Oh, what's this guy doing? He's Stuck in the street? In the the road. Yeah. 
Maybe that's Frank. Maybe he's drunk. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I forgot how to beep the horn. I'd go ahead and just cut in front of him. Oh, you're being a jerk. That's all you're doing. You're just stopping this lady from getting to work. Is that's that Angie? Right. Is she going to the video shop? <laughs> no, that's not Angie. Looks like Nancy. Oh, well, a little bit, yeah. Blonde. So we'll take a right at the end of the street and then our first right after the bridge. Okie dokie. Is that the cat lady's house? Um, Mildred? Yes. I don't think so. Might be. No, because it's, it's after the bridge. So Mildred's before. I believe. Yeah, Mildred's right down here. Mildred Jenkins. I shouldn't even know this. <laughs> I shouldn't even know it. It's a sad state of affairs. That's when you know you know in the game really well, when you remember everybody's name. Yeah. So Mildred's house is the green one on the right. You just passed it. No, it's right here. No, so, back here. Oh, the letter, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was I was doing a demonstration. Be quiet. <laughs> I was just testing. Oh, so yeah. you need me to give you directions yeah. now. That's new. Oh, no, it's not. The letter's behind me. See? <laughs> Look, it's right there. Yeah, you're heading back towards oh. it. You passed it. Well, we can... We it's can... the first house past the, All right. the bridge. All right. I was trying to get out of it, but she's not going to let me out of it. See, that's what I don't like about this map, because it looked like the house was on that main street. It's actually on a side street. Yeah, she's not a fan of the mini-map. I'm trying to explain to her in the past how mini-maps work, but she's just not having it. I don't like it. Yeah, she don't like it. Ooh, interesting. Oh, interesting again. Maybe people are getting catalogs from Adam and Eve or something. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you be shopping through other people's catalogs, Meredith. I'm sure there are fans out there that don't know what that is. Oh, oh Adam and Eve. Um, I used to get my neighbor's Adam and Eve catalog when I lived in one of my first apartments. And uh, I was, much to my surprise, I had left it on the kitchen table. I tossed it with the rest of my mail. And my mother came over for coffee and cake to welcome me to my new apartment and saw Adam and Eve catalog. And... Uh, it's full of um, adult saucy accoutrements. Let's put it that way. Entertainment <laughs> products. Yeah. And, uh, Apparel, yes. accessories. There you go. You name it. And for those of you wise guys out there, I can already hear a couple people's voices in my head. No, I did not place an order. <laughs> <laughs> and no, I did not give it to my neighbor. I put it back in the mailbox. Because <laughs> <laughs> I think there's something that's more embarrassing is getting the catalog is it's knocking on your neighbor's door and saying here's your uh you know your smut book <laughs> of course my neighbor i don't know if she would be ashamed or not she's just you know one of those types you know. not that there's anything wrong with that i'm just saying everybody has their secrets sometimes it's better to leave well enough alone yeah let them have their privacy my neighbor who lived downstairs for me was also um my boss's girlfriend oh. who also worked as the bookkeeper and dispatcher uh, where I worked, so. Well, that's embarrassing. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's a little TMI knowing that your boss's girlfriend is ordering those sorts of things. Yeah, but like I said, to know her is to understand her. I, I personally, I don't think that she would be embarrassed at all, but. Uh, well, more power to her. Yeah. <laughs> so, now I wonder, we could take a shortcut up this way, but we, really? I think we can. Yeah, oh, hold on. If I go the dirt road? Yeah, see, look, it comes and loops around. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can yeah. give it a try. It's it, a little more scenic. It's not a, it's not a shortcut. It's a long cut. It's a long cut. But that's the way I roll. All right. Ask my wife. My wife will, sometimes I'll meet her someplace after she gets out of work, and we'll have dinner or something, and then we'll go to our respective cars and go home, and she always comes home before I do. I go the most direct route and say, where yeah. did you go? And you say, well, I wanted to go fly this way or that yeah, way. I, I usually tell her I try to take a shortcut, and it's just like, I've been home 10 minutes. It's like... Well, good for you. I didn't run anybody over getting home. <laughs> no, I just like to take the most direct route because, yeah. unfortunately, before we moved to Vegas, I spent most of my life driving in a car to and from work and driving to and from the store and all that. So I wanted to spend the minimum amount of time in the car that I had to, so I always go the most direct route home. That's right, even if it's through people's backyards and over their lawns. No, I don't drive <laughs> like that in real life, thank you very much. But no, since we moved out here, I work very close to home, and shopping is very close to home, so I don't mind being in the car so much. So sometimes I will take a more scenic route now. So, oh, here's the covered bridge that she smashed into. Oh. 
I'll show off and go through there. Breakneck pace. Are you sure that's the same one? Yes, it's the only covered bridge on the map, dear. Oh, all right. And this is a normal day in the life for us. Yeah, and just so you know, if you hear a little cat shouting in the background, Lily just walked into the room and she's very displeased that we're sitting here and not yeah. paying her any attention. So if, if you we, hear her meowing in the background, that's what that is. Yeah, and if we close the door to the to the office, then the other one, Otis, he starts, and he starts howling and screaming, and uh, he doesn't like the door closed. He doesn't like it when Mama's not visible. All right, I'm not going to... Well, yeah, I should do a nice parking job. Jen always did a nice parking job. <laughs> Even when she was hitting things, she would hit them square on. I tried. <laughs> and I still did it. Well, I'm in the lines. That counts. This is like real life. Well, now she's got to go talk to that pothead at the desk. Oh, yeah, that little... No, he was just a gamer guy, but he was a little jerk one. I think he was high. Oh, I got to get the... He wasn't high. He's just rude and obnoxious and involved in his asteroids or whatever he's playing. All right, so it's got to be this one. All right. Okay, Jen, here we go. I wish I could ring that little bell. He's still playing the video games. I mean, I shouldn't criticize. <laughs> <laughs> At least right. you don't look like that. Hello, sir? It's the mail. Excuse me, what's this all about? It's all about the mail. <laughs> I'd appreciate it if parcels are not just dumped on the counter. Oh, is that so? Well, take your eyes off your screen and accept it, Jerk. <laughs> I'd appreciate it if you'd act like a human being. Nice. You'd understand if you had any idea about what I'm trying to do here. Setting up a computer system to handle all the bookings is quite sophisticated. Yeah, playing Tetris. <laughs> yeah, as you could probably show Oh, interesting. Things. I work in computers, too. Delivering computers does not mean that you work in computers. <laughs> oh, my Jerk. God. Yep. Just like playing games also doesn't count as working in computers. Don't you have more computers to deliver? He's oh. sassy. I don't like him. I've got two options for him. Knuckle side or palm side. All right, folks. If I could just take one minute more of your time, I'd just like to let you know that we set up a little bit of a tip jar, if you will. It's called Kofi.com. And basically, if you think we're doing a great job on these videos and you'd like to drop us a little tip or even become a monthly supporter, all for as little as a dollar, this is a great way to do it. This is going to cover the expenses of running a YouTube channel, purchasing the games, maintaining and replacing electronic equipment as need be. It can get really expensive. And I don't even want to tell you how much we've spent over the past years doing this. But we love it, and we enjoy it, and we hope you do too. So if you'd like to buy us a cup of coffee, it would be appreciated, and we really thank you very much. So the video's getting on now, so I'm going to go ahead and call it a wrap here. I got lots more footage to go through in the editing software, so there's not going to be such a long span between videos. I hope you enjoyed this, and until next time, take great care of yourself, okay? And bye for now.